All right. So we got a crazy ass MF ranting and raving. So this is from Aaron in the moon on Twitter in the morn. This is one of the scariest videos I've seen. I don't know what more to say. Candidate Mark Burns, Trump ally running for South Carolina 04, calls for the execution of LGBTQ people. Let's watch. The LGBT transgender grooming our children's minds is a national security threat because it is ultimately designed to destabilize the republic we call the United States of America. That's why when I'm elected, I don't want to just vote. I want to start holding people accountable for treason to the Constitution. I am going to push to reenact HUAC. HUAC is the House of Un-American Activities Committee. It was a real committee that was formulated back in the 50s and is a, a committee that we should reenact that starts holding these people accountable for treason. We need to hold people for treason, start having some public hearings and start executing people who are found guilty for their treasonous acts against the Constitution of the United States of America, just like they did back in 17. And this bitch is like, this bitch is like, oh shit, I'm about to go viral. Like she is having a great time. Let's go back. So this guy's ranting and raving, and then they cut the camera to like the double camera, and she's like, "Woo!" Like this is great. All right, all right. Against the Constitution of the United States of America, just like they did. She's fucking having a great time. Oh my god! South Carolina, this is our guy. So, first of all, what the fuck? <laughs> like these people are crazy. I don't need to explain for the fifteen thousandth time. That religion is the worst thing that's ever happened. Religion is garbage. Religion is trash. I don't give a fuck about your good Christian garbage. I don't give a fuck about your historical example of a good Christian. Go fuck yourself. Religion is all garbage. It's all trash all the time. And this is what religion turns into. This. This is the... Like, this is the end goal. This is what happens when you believe in fairy tales for 2,000 fucking years and kill everyone that disagrees with you. I don't give a shit if, oh, I went to the church and we got, you know, we were nice to each other and we sang songs. Go fuck yourself with your stupid fucking songs, okay? The people that end up using religion and its institutions are these motherfuckers, okay? Second of all, like, the idea that trans people or gay people are grooming, like, what the fuck does that even mean? Like, I went to a wedding when I was, like, five or six years old. Is that not grooming? It's a celebration of two people that, religiously speaking, they are now able to fuck each other. It's a celebration, now you can fuck this other person. That's grooming! How come five-year-olds are allowed to go to weddings? That's fucking crazy. That's crazy shit, man. So again, like, I don't know, man. Like, this fucking, like, this grooming stuff, is it's all, there's literally no evidence of any of it. It's garbage. But they know it's garbage. They know it's trash. They don't care about the logic. They don't care about the argumentation. They just want to commit a genocide. Again, I've told everyone, and there's so many right-wingers that love to leave comments, where's no one's call for the execution of gays. We just want to make them all stop existing. We don't want to execute them. We just want to make sure that there's no new gays. I mean, first of all, that is a genocide. But here we have another dumb motherfucker saying the quiet part out loud. Yeah, let's just kill them all. For treason. For treason? Like, and again, this is the same party that had Donald fucking shit fuck Trump. Literally tried to overthrow the government less than two years ago. And they're accusing random gay people of treason. Like, <laughs> again, I can't help but laugh at this stupid fucking garbage. And again, I know a lot of people get mad at me for harping on the religious stuff. But with all due respect, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. There is no such thing as a good Christian. Now, there can be good people that happen to be Christian. But there is no such thing as a good Christian. That's the same lie and bullshit that people tell us. Oh, like Liz Cheney is a good Republican. There's no good Republican. It doesn't fucking exist. If you give 
any ounce of credibility to these institutions when they're doing shit like this with their power and influence, you are not a good Christian. You're garbage. You're garbage. And again, oh, but Christianity brings people together. What? Try bingo. I don't know. What the fuck? You need to believe in a magical sky fairy that gives people power and influence to try to advocate for a genocide of certain minority groups in order to get together with your community? Like, come on. Come on, man. Religious people are fucking crazy. They're crazy. There's no such thing as a good Republican. There's no such thing as a good Christian. Now, again, you can be a Christian and be a good person. But you being a Christian is a severe detriment to everyone else and yourself in this world. And if you really wanted to be a good person, you would throw away these fucking stupid fucking garbage institutions. And again, but I, what about my relationship with God? That's called schizophrenia. If you think your inner monologue is Jesus talking to you, that's schizophrenia. I don't know what to tell you. And no offense to people that have schizophrenia. I know people that have schizophrenia. Sometimes I think I have schizophrenia. You know, there's voices to, you know. And I'm not even saying that as like a bit. But anyway. Um, but seriously, that, that's a medical condition. There is no Jesus. And he's not talking to you. It's, it's not real. It's called your inner monologue. That's your brain generating words. That's you. That's your brain. That's not Jesus. That's not God. That's not Muhammad. That's not Yahweh. I don't give a fuck. Okay? But let's assume, okay, it is God. Do you need to be a Christian to have a relationship with God? Every Christian I talk to, they have a different version. They cherry pick the fucking Bible, which they've never read either. And even if they did read it, it was some, like, interpretation of some shitfucker's translation of some shitfucker's interpretation of some other... Right, so they've never read the actual Bible. But anyway, and by the way, not to mention that half the books of the Bible got lost to history. But whatever, okay? Everyone's got their own stupid fucking version of God. Like, again, the Bible says you're not allowed to eat shellfish. Now, I don't eat shellfish either. I'm a vegetarian. But if you eat shellfish, you go to fucking hell. That's what the Bible says. I didn't say that, right? So everyone's, if you wear mixed fabric, I'm wearing mixed fabric right now. So am I going to go to hell? Again, you can't say, oh, I believe in God, but these parts are outdated. That, you're not a Christian. You're not adhering to the religion. So you have your own version of it. Why even call yourself a Christian? That's the thing that's crazy to me. Everyone's got their own stupid fucking personal relationship with their stupid fucking God. And yet they all go to the same building and praise Jesus in the same... What the fuck is wrong with you? How about instead of going to church and singing stupid fucking songs... You go to a local food bank or a soup kitchen and actually do something that's actually worth fucking while. Now, again, I know a lot of religious people that claim to be good Christians, they do this stuff on their, on their spare time. And that's great. And that's great. And that makes them great people. But goddamn. Like, why isn't church? Why is church just a money laundering scheme? Tax exempt money laundering scheme? Why is it, like, what is, what does your church actually do besides steal your money and then just funnel it to people like fucking this guy? Let's be honest. If you're such a good person, oh, I'm a good Christian, go do something that actually fucking helps people. And maybe stop being a fucking Christian because it doesn't make any fucking sense. I'm sorry, I can't with this religion shit. I know a lot of people get mad at me. Oh, you harp on religion too much. I'm a fucking goddamn trans person in the United States of America where the, like, leading religion and their leaders are trying to commit a genocide against me. So, shut the fuck up. You're a Christian. You're not oppressed. You're not a minority if you're a Christian. You're, like, 60 fucking something percent of Americans believe in angels and they're fucking Christians, okay? You're not a fucking minority. 0.48% of the population is transgender. I'm the fucking minority. I'm attacking my oppressors. Go fuck yourself with your crybaby bullshit. Shut the fuck up. So, there's just all my haters out there. Any chance I get to shit talk religion, because I hate religion. I think religion is the root of all evil. I think, now, I will say that I don't think humanity would be perfect without religion. But without religion, we'd be a hell of a lot better than we are right now. Let's be honest.